Yeah, last year, record numbers of migrants tried to enter Britain by embarking on a perilous journey in small boats across the English Channel, with 47 people drowning in their attempt to reach our shores. Well, to highlight this and raise funds for refugees, a man from Stockton is preparing to swim the Channel from Dover to Calais with four of his friends. Duncan McCauley runs the North East Refugee Charity Action Foundation. And as Phil Connell reports, he's been training for the Channel swim at Saltburn. To swim the English Channel, even as part of a relay team, takes months of gruelling training. And since January, the sea off Saltburn has been Duncan McCauley's regular training ground. It's beautiful here at Saltburn. Actually, today is a particularly nice day, although the water will be quite cold, maybe 10 degrees. It's been really good to be able to train locally. OK, well, off you go. How cold is it today, then, do we think? Well, let's find out. <laughs> Duncan runs Action Foundation, a northeast charity that supports refugees, and will swim the 24 miles from Dover to Calais with four of his friends. They aim to highlight the plight of thousands of migrants who attempt the crossing every year. A record 28,000 made the journey last year, and 47 of them didn't survive. So for our journey, I actually have a team of people swimming with me and we have a safety boat with a pilot and his crew, so we'll be really well looked after. I can't imagine what it would be like making the journey, perhaps knowing nobody else on the boat at the hands of a people smuggler going in the other direction. By doing the swim, Duncan aims to raise £10,000 to help refugees. In Saltburn today, his training session drew a supportive crowd. He's making awareness of what it's like out at sea. I mean, these people just go overboard and gone, they've gone. People's trafficking, it's money, it's all about money. And the people's traffickers are making an awful lot of money, aren't they? When you're out there swimming, what are your thoughts? What will you be thinking? Maybe 12 to 15 hours on the water, in the cold. It's probably going to get dark while we're swimming, so we're going to arrive into France in the dark. So I'm expecting to have to keep reminding myself why we're doing this and keep telling myself to keep going to reach the end. With a few more training sessions left, Duncan's team aims to complete the swim in two weeks' time. Cold out there today. Actually, not as flat as it looks, but it was good. Yeah. Yeah. Feeling confident then? Yeah, I think so. All being well, a safe crossing, unlike many of the migrants before them. Phil Connell, BBC Look North, Saltburn. Amazing challenge, that. Now, new research by the BBC has revealed that a quarter of people in this country are living with chronic